The Kolkata Knight Riders have some squad building to do. They took some big calls in uh, the released and retention list of players where they let go of some loyal KKR servants, the likes of Robin Uthappa, Piyush Chawla, even Chris Lynn. And uh, this team now under new leadership with the likes of Brendan McCullum joining the coaching staff have to rebuild. Gaurav Sundar Araman with me. And as we look at uh, the balance purse that they have, Gaurav, uh, they've got uh, a lot of money that they can still spend, just over 35 crore. But they have a lot of slots as well. Now, this is a team we know traditionally in auctions has gone for a thin but effective squad of just uh, picking a first 11 from in that squad quite easily. But looking at the sort of releases they've made, what do you make there in the market for now? One advantage Kolkata have is they don't need to go for overseas quicks uh, because they have two in Harry Gurney and Lockie Ferguson. That is going to be uh, helping them a lot because they're going to save some money. One slot they badly need, which not many teams need, is an overseas opener. So again, whether they go back for Chris Lynn or they try to adopt some other different strategy by going for Glenn Maxwell and asking him to open with Sunil Narayan or Shubham Gill, uh, it'll be interesting to see. And I think KKR can get whoever they want with respect to that opening role because uh, not many teams need a first choice overseas opener. And again, the overseas all-rounders, there are not many in the market who have performed well in the IPL barring Chris Morris and maybe uh, uh, Pat Cummins. So, uh, guys like Colin DeGrando, Marcus Toynis, Sam Curran, uh, Jimmy Nisham, all these guys have never uh, done very well in the IPL. So, KKR, if they can really focus and get their batting alright and if the top four overseas guys are injury free, I think they can kind of dominate the auction in the, in the sense, what I mean by dominate is whoever they want, they can get. Now, you mentioned that they've got uh, enough, they've got two solid, you'd say, overseas quicks in Ferguson and, and Harry Gurney. But as we look at that pace attack, it does have a, a sense of fragility about it. If I was a KKR fan, I'd look and say the history of injuries with Ma, with Nagar Koti and Shiva Mavi and the fact that even Lockie Ferguson, who's uh, in fact injured as we speak in the opening test between Australia and New Zealand, the fact that this is an injury-prone pace attack, would you really be wanting to, would, wouldn't you want to still try and add to that? Andre Russell, leaving him with too much bowling to do is never a good idea with his injuries as well. Would they be in the market for a Pat Cummins big time? I, when teams usually go to these auctions, they don't assume and focus too much on injuries. If if at all uh, Lockie gets injured closer to the IPL, they they are allowed to replace him. So I'm not too sure if they will uh, focus so much on guys like Pat Cummins. Uh, but what they could do is maybe go for someone like Sheldon Cottrell, for example, because he swings the ball and Eden uh, Wicket is also pretty uh, friendly for pacers. And that that way they don't need to uh, play uh, Lockie Ferguson. Maybe they can use the trade window to uh, trade Lockie. They do have Prasid Krishna and Sandeep Warrior who are likely to play for them uh, from the domestic side. Keep an eye out for the KKR who along with the Kings XI Punjab have a significant amount of purse remaining. They could influence the auction in a heavy way.